Hey guys, welcome to Learn 3D Design. And in this video, we're going to be looking at an introduction to the Rhino 3D software, and we'll go over a couple of examples just to see what it can do. So what is Rhino? Uh, Rhino is 3D modeling software, and as you may know, there are some other popular applications out there you may have heard of, like SolidWorks and several different Autodesk products. Uh, I'll tell you right now that I'm personally a fan of Rhino because it's very capable for the things that I want to use it for. Uh, it's intuitive to use, and you can also import and export from all the popular file types. Uh, it's also available for both Mac and PC. And in the notes, I'll give you a link to where you can download a full featured demo version that's valid for 90 days. So Rhino can be used for prototype designs, designs for 3D printing, uh, photorealistic renderings, and it also works nicely for architectural and automotive designs. And Rhino is based on what's called NURBS geometry and that stands for Non-Uniform Rational B-Splines. So what does that mean? Uh, in a nutshell, uh, you can think of it as a vector-based software, so it's more like Adobe Illustrator as opposed to Photoshop, which of course is pixel-based. So models in Rhino are make up, made up of objects, and the basic object types are points, curves, surfaces, and solids. First object type we're going to take a look at is curves, and curves in Rhino include lines, polylines, arcs, ellipses, circles, freeform curves, and polycurves. And you see examples of most of those here. A uh, polycurve is simply two or more curves joined together end to end. And the next object type here is a surface, and surfaces are made up of what's called isocurves, and surfaces in Rhino can be generated from curves, and likewise, curves can be uh, extracted from surfaces or from solids. Next, we see an example of an open polysurface, which here appears to be three surfaces joined together. And if you're ever wondering what type of object you're looking at, you can highlight it and go to the Properties panel on the upper right. And you can see here the object type uh, is an open poly surface. The next object type we're going to look at is points. And points in Rhino are defined by x, y, and z coordinates in three-dimensional space, uh, as you see here. The next object type is an example of a solid object. And what you're looking at here is a closed solid poly surface. And Rhino will automatically detect if an object is closed, and if it is, uh, it considers it to be a solid. This object is referred to as a lightweight extrusion object in Rhino, and basically it's treated the same as other solid objects. The next object we see here is an example of a closed surface, which means it's a single surface wrapped around itself to create a solid. And another object type we're going to look at right now are control points. And these look like point objects, but they're not the same thing. Uh, control points always relate back to what's called a parent object. And if we go to the edit menu and turn control points on, uh, we can see the control points belong to this object. And you can simply uh, drag them to change the shape uh, of the object. The next object type is an example of a polygon mesh, and these are made up of vertex points connected by straight lines. And unlike other objects in Rhino, the 3D data exists only for the vertex points. And where you'll commonly see this type of object uh, is when you export to an STL file, uh, which is a common format for 3D printing. The last object type is annotation objects, and you see some examples of those here. Uh, in Rhino, annotation objects include text and dimensions, and also lights, uh, which are used to help create renderings of objects in the model. And that's the end of this introduction to Rhino video. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in learning more, just click on the link you see on the screen to get a free copy of my ebook, which is the 10 step product design process. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one.